Epo versus Sendo 1 is just two dudes doing it for the love of the game at this point. Fight starts off with Epo in his peekaboo stance. Sendo's just casually walking up, bro. I ain't gonna lie, bro. If I was Epo, I'd take off my gloves, put my boots in the middle of the ring, and retire right there. Because why are you doing this to me? I'm trying my best right now. Why are you this confident that you can beat my ass? Please stop. Sendo then throws a left straight, punches yeah. right through Epo's guard. Got this nigga stunlocked, Schmeckeldorfed, and perplexed. Like, he did not expect that. Epo sees Sendo trying to throw another left straight, and then he goes back into his guard, but Sendo punches through the guard again, sending Epo's right arm up into a 45 degree angle. Oh my god, bro. Epo locked in. And with those two punches, Epo's game plan of rushing this nigga and beating his ass is out the window because that was just crazy as hell what Sendo did right there. Epo backs himself up against the ropes accidentally, and then Sendo's like, hey, bro, you shouldn't have did that. And he starts teeing off of my goat. Epo's like, I can't just keep getting my ass beat like this. I gotta do something now. He tries to hit Sendo with a, with a left straight, but Sendo ate the hit, bro. He took zero damage, and then he just continues doing what he was doing before. I'm telling you, man, you do not want to fight a nigga like Sendo, bro. You hit Sendo, bro, don't even flinch, bro, don't even react. He just continues beating your ass. Nah. You might just need Kamigawa to throw in a white towel because this is crazy. And then Sendo hits Epo with this nasty ass right hook that just opens up Epo's guard like crazy. Epo over here monologuing saying it's time to lock in. He wasn't using his right hand earlier because he broke the ever living mess out of it. But he's like, I don't even care no more, bro. I'm not getting beat up like that again. That's crazy. And then Epo gets right in front of Sendo and these niggas start going crazy. I'm talking about Minka, Minka, Minka all in the middle of the ring. Epo actually getting some hits in right now. It's crazy. Epo got his two left jabs and tried to throw the right straight, but he took too much time. And Sendo's rebuttal to that was a left hook. Epo tried to hit Sendo with a body shot, but Sendo got to him first. Had the nigga rock at him looking like a C. And then Sendo said, I'm not uh, finished. I'm not Continue finished. with the combo. Punch through Epo's guard again. You might as well put your hands down, dude, because that guard is not helping. But Sendo punched bro right in the chest. Had Epo falling down to the ground. He almost hit the mat, but then Epo said, Hold on, I forgot I'm the main character. Clinches his right fist and hits Sendo with the nastiest right hook of all time. I'm talking about had that nigga head going back on his neck like a tether ball. But not only did that right hook have Sendo rock, but it sent Sendo back 30 feet. Now his backs are against the rope and Epo says, all right, it's time to cook. And Epo's hitting this nasty ass combo on Sendo while he's back on the ropes. He's just doing right, left, right, left, right, left. And then Epo hits Sendo with a nasty ass gazelle punch. Almost sent that nigga completely over the ropes onto the ground. Epo for real tried to end this man Sendo whole career with his left hook, but then the bell rung and the round ended. Sendo got saved by the bell like crazy. He gets to round two and Sendo automatically used the smash, his special move, bro. This is just like you get a special leader in a video game and you're spamming the special button until you can use it. Epo had his guard up though, if he didn't, I fear that that nigga's head might have been split in two. But having his guard up really didn't matter bro, cause that smash lifted Epo off his yeah. feet and still lunged him back to the ropes, like that's crazy. These niggas are like 16, no way y'all throwing these CTE nukes at each other, like this is crazy to me. And then Sendo hit Epo with another smash. This is a new smash. This nigga's fist is damn near scraping the mat as he comes up for this nasty ass uppercut. Epo still had his guard up, but that John had his leg shaking like how I am after Yoruichi is done with me. Sendo said, damn, did that to actually just like knock you out. Guess I'm throwing another smash. Epo says, nah, ain't no way I'm finna let you hit me with three smashes back to back. And he dies. Mm -hmm. Epo keeps on trying to get out of the ropes, but Sendo keeps on blocking him, making sure he stays there. And then Sendo tries to go for another smash and Epo goes for a clinch. And while Epo's in this clinch, bro said, I'm leaving here with something. And his bro with a body blow. And then he tries to go for an uppercut, but Sendo dodges that. And then these niggas start going crazy. I'm talking about Minka, Minka, Minka in the middle of the ring. These two, after going crazy, tucker themselves out and start leaning on each other. Sendo backstep so he can hit Epo with the fadeaway smash. Epo tried to go in close so he didn't have enough room or time to hit the smash. But that smash was just a pump fake. He dodges Epo's punch because Epo tried to counter it. And then he just starts teeing off of my guy. Sendo hits Epo with a right straight, sending him back to the ropes. E Epo kind of stumbled a bit. He looked in front of him, didn't wow. see nobody. Nary a one, not a one soul in front of him. Looks down just to see Sendo getting ready to unload the smash on Epo. He didn't have enough time to block it. So he kind of moved his head out the way and got grazed by the smash. Oh my goodness, dude. 
Sendo up there were niggas like Kimpachi and Mario Leona. Like these niggas live for the smoke. Oh, Ippo was vulnerable. Sendo tries to go for another smash, but the bell rings. Ippo gets saved by the bell this time. This nigga Sendo spamming like crazy, but I can't even be mad. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. And now we get to the third round. Sendo still walking out the corner, arms down to his side like usual. And then Ippo pulls up in peekaboo stance. Sendo takes his usual stance, and then Ippo starts to copy what Sendo's doing. And then that has Sendo Schmeckeldorf. Sendo sees Ippo take his own fighting stance, and then he starts getting pissed and throwing these punches. And now these niggas are going crazy. Mika, Mika, Mika in the middle of the ring, just ducking and dodging all of these punches. And then Ippo goes for a pseudo smash, but Sendo, Sendo just barely caught it in time, and it grazed that nigga's cheek. I know Sendo in his head did a cartoonish ass. Phew, and wiped the sweat off his brow because he was finna get his head taken clean off. Sendo's like, oh, say less. And then he fakes Epo out with a right. Just for huh? Sendo and Epo to trade less straights. And then Epo and Sendo say, let's trade punches one more time. Sendo goes for a smash and then Epo goes for a pseudo smash. But Epo's uppercut connects first and God damn. It has Sendo's feet off the ground, bro. And he got knocked right on his ass, dude. Got bro hitting snow angels in the mat. This brother is done. Epo begging and pleading like, bro, please stay down, bro. Please, oh my God, please stay down. I ain't do all that just for you to get back up. But Sendo makes it up before the count of 10. Sendo gets back up and then him and Epo rush back into the middle of the mat and then they trade punches right. from both top. But Epo's like, mm, I'm not finished with the combo. But Sendo stopped bro in the middle of his combo with a nasty ass right hook. Had bro spinning in the opposite oh. direction. And then these two brolic ass niggas headbutt each other in the middle of the ring and start just throwing CTE bombs at each other. No wonder this nigga Epo got punch drunk in the manga. Golly. Bro just likes to hear the rattle of his brain in his head like maracas or something because this is crazy. I can't be more serious than this comparison that I'm about to give, but it's like both these guys are in a knife edge death match and they are just trading punches. Epo punches and Sendo punches. Like these niggas aren't even boxing anymore. They're just trying to see who can remember their names at the end of the night after just throwing CTE at each other. And then they just do that for like three minutes, switching back and forth between the action and the crowd. And then we switch it up a little bit when Epo hits Sendo with a liver blow. But Sendo's rebuttal to that was a nasty ass right hook that punched through Epo's guard again. Like I said, Epo, you might as well just put them goddamn hands down. Because that guard ain't helping nobody. And then Sendo starts pushing Epo back against the ropes. And Epo says, nah, nah, nah. I'm not letting you pop that off on me again, brother. And then he hits Sendo with another liver blow. But Sendo did not flinch, did not wince. He just kept on attacking. Epo's like, ain't no way this nigga had no reaction to getting hit. 4-4. By me and the liver. This nigga is not human. And then Sendo keeps pressuring Epo. Epo cannot get his hands down. But then they trade blows once again. But now Epo got damn legs shaking like crazy. But so are Sendo. But Sendo's brain right now is on an effort we ball mentality as he just rushes Epo and pushes him against the rope and just does not give Epo any leeway at all. Epo's like, I gotta get out of this corner. And he tries to hit Sendo with a right hook, but Sendo had that nigga Epo download. He, he dodged the right hook and hit Epo with this nasty ass smash. Hit clean on right on the nigga's chin. And Epo was about to fall down. Nigga's chin was about to hit the mat. He was probably about to lose the match. But Sendo said, I got one more in me. And while this nigga Epo is falling down, Sendo catches Epo. With an uppercut propping him back up on the ropes, this nigga Sendo is a goddamn demon. Bro could have won the fight right there, but he said, nah, you're going back home in a body bag, Mr. Makanoji. But while Epo's on the ropes, this nigga Sendo just starts spamming uppercuts, bro. What is your problem, dude? You need to relax. Actually, I think we need to take the boxing gloves off you and replace it with handcuffs. This is something only a criminal would do. You're insane. You need prison. And then Sendo pierces right through Epo's guard with a right straight. Had that nigga Epo making an IE ass face. Bro did not know where he was. And then he tried to finish it off with a smash, bro. I don't think the smash is your finisher move no more, Sendo. It's just a regular ass move you have now. Because you hit Epo with about four of them things and it didn't drop him. And then Epo dodged the smash. And then he said, I'm going to kill you. And hits him as hard as he can in the table. Yeah. Sendo's reaction to that was literally Goku Prowler me. This nigga Sendo did not care that he almost got Alzheimer's at the age of 16. This nigga did not care that he could have quite literally forgotten his name, what he was doing, or even his purpose in life. His rebuttal to getting hit in the temple as hard as he possibly could by Epo was, yeah, I'm just gonna beat the ever-living mess out of you, dog. 
He starts wailing on Epo. Pilot's back is up against the ropes. He broke through Epo's guard about seven times. Epo fell. The bell for the fourth round rang. He still continued to beat Epo's ass. The ref didn't hear. He was like, hold on. Let him cook. This nigga might be on to something. But then the ref finally gets Sindo off of Epo. They call for the bell. Sindo sits back down in this corner. And apparently that the whole time he was just beating the ever-living mess out of Epo and hitting him in the face as hard as he could with his fist laced in CTE. That whole time Sindo was doing that, bro was unconscious. Because in between rounds, the nigga just said, damn, I'm dead. And then he passed out. Epo won the fight. But uh, yeah, that's the end of the fight. The moral of this one is, don't fight anybody based off of Mike Tyson. Epo's entire build, entire way of fighting is just based off of Mike Tyson. You wouldn't want to fight Mike Tyson, so why would you want to fight a fictional character based off of Mike Tyson? But, hey, that's the end of the video, man. I'm going to get up out of here. If you liked, like, comment, subscribe, do the good stuff, and uh, yeah, bye.